One thing to keep in mind about music scheduling is that it's near impossible for scheduling software to fill in every slot in the day without encountering some slots where all of its choices at that particular moment would violate one of your formatting rules. Making editing decisions during the scheduling run is the best way to do it. We call that the manual scheduling mode. There are other videos and documentation to show how it's done. Still, some people want Music One to run the whole day without stopping. This is the automatic scheduling mode, and here's how it's done. When you load a new schedule, open the Rules Enforcement menu. Click to select Automatic Scheduling Mode. If you're going to schedule in Automatic Every Day, then click the Save as Default button. Otherwise, this one schedule will be done in Automatic, and then when you load the next schedule after this, Music One will revert back to the recommended Manual mode. Click OK and then click the Continue arrow. It'll take just a few seconds for every slot in the day to be filled. Then you can click through the hours of the day to find problems and make some editing decisions. Songs that had to be scheduled in violation of one of your rules are displayed in red font. Here in the 9 a.m. hour, a duet by Bob Seger and Patti Loveless was scheduled at 9.48 in my Hot LP Cuts category. And later, when Music One was scheduling my Classics category, when it came to this slot, the only choice it had at that moment was a solo by Patti Loveless, so it had to schedule her song at 9.51. Here's one way this can be fixed. I'll move this song to the next hour. I place my pointer over the title, click and hold, and drag it down to the 10 a.m. hour box, and release the button. Then I click on the 10 a.m. button to display that hour. Patty's song has been pasted to the end of the hour. The reason everything on this clock is now in red font here is because this move has initially put too much content in the hour. At this moment it is overscheduled, but I'm not finished. This song by the Judds is also from my classics category, and I'm going to move it back to the 9 a.m. hour. I point, click, and drag. And before I leave the 10 a.m. hour, I want to move the Loveless song to be the next to the last song in the hour. To do that, I point at the title, left-click and hold. Then I drag the Music Notes pointer onto the title of the Mark Chestnut song. It gets highlighted, and I release the button. Now Patty is scheduled before Chestnut. And we see this hour is a bit overscheduled, but it's not beyond the maximum content that I have allowed with my rules in this hour. Down at the bottom, we see the hour has 61 minutes and 42 seconds of content. Now let's go back to the 9 a.m. hour. The Judds were pasted to the end of the hour, and I want my Classics category to be the next to the last slot in the hour, and so I move that song. See some more videos for more editing moves.